Now, the law is clear. Pharmacies in the UAE are not allowed to give antibiotics without a doctor's prescription. But many people report being able to freely buy the drugs over the counter. Now, this type of abuse of medicines is one of the reasons for the rise of antibiotic-resistant infections. In fact, the European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control reportedly estimates that 25,000 people die in the EU alone every year from these kinds of infections. Well, I sat down with Dr. Michael Lubser, a clinical immunologist at the Infinity Health Clinic in Dubai, and started by asking him about the danger that these infections present. And the head of the CDC uh, says that we're actually in the post-antibiotic phase now. It's a bit of a terrifying thought when you consider that we've only had antibiotics for about 60 years. But because of the abuse of antibiotics, either by patients or clinicians or pharmacists, resistance has developed uh, in the community. And what's happened is that people are getting uh, sick with ordinary bacteria, but these bacteria are no longer susceptible to the antibiotics and you need either stronger antibiotics or intravenous antibiotics or hospitalization. So, yeah, even simple organisms like Streptococcus pneumoniae have got 10% total antibiotic resistance now in certain parts of the world. So what do you think we're going to see? Are we going to see a gradual resistance or are we going to see an immediate change? Will it be the stage where we're worried about superbugs yeah. uh, outbreaking everywhere? There won't be a, a sort of an, a, a, a massive outbreak all of a sudden. What you'll find is that people will go to hospital, they'll have longer stays because they'll be getting hospital-acquired infections that are harder to treat or actually can't be treated. Um, and you'll just see a, an emergence of sicker people staying longer, mm -hmm. more complicated. It's not likely that you're going to get one organism that's just going to wipe out a community. Yeah. It won't be like that. But you'll, you'll start seeing, the other thing you'll see is you'll see people from the community getting sick with organisms that you normally used to get sick with just in the hospitals. Because now there's antibiotic resistant organisms in the community, mm -hmm. such as methicillin resistant staph. So are you already seeing this kind of resistance in the Definitely. UAE today? We've got a number of patients who have got so-called community acquired MRSA, reasonably common doesn't make them very sick, but it causes skin lesions that are difficult to treat. And um, 10 years ago, this was unheard of. Mm -hmm. So for these people who are building up a resistance, what's the solution for them? Is it other drugs? Is it time? Yeah. It's you know, a vicious right. cycle. You have to use other drugs. And sometimes you have to resort to some of the older drugs that you might not have used for 10 years because, of course, they are underused and therefore the organisms are still susceptible. And the pharmacies in particular, I was uh, fascinated to discover it is illegal to actually give antibiotics over the counter without a prescription and yet I've been to the pharmacy countless times and been offered antibiotics when I haven't uh, wanted them or, yeah, or needed them. That's true. The pharmacists do tend to uh, sort of uh, maybe slide antibiotics under the counter. It isn't as tightly regulated here as it could be and I think we see waves. We see times when it's very tightly regulated and then the regulation sort of slips a bit and then the pharmacist goes back to giving the antibiotic and then the, the health authority comes and sorts them out. And it's a cyclical mm -hmm. process. Why do you think that is? Well, I think, you know, in the s spectrum of what the health authority has to do, obviously regulating pharmacies is one thing, but it's a relatively small component, mm -hmm. although antimicrobial resistance is a huge problem. So I, I, it's probably manpower, it's priorities. Um, you know, at one point you've just got to trust the professionals in the mm -hmm. community to do their job properly as well. So in terms of moving forward, what's the solution? Uh, it seems only four major companies are actually developing new antibiotics today. Have governments, have the medical world been too complacent? I think what's happened is that market forces have, have played here and it just wasn't worth the money for the R&D for big companies to, to look at antibiotic development. At the end of the day, an antibiotic gets used for 10 days and an anti-cholesterol medicine is used for the rest of your life. So mm -hmm. it's just money. But I think now the, some of the big companies are sitting up and they're looking for new classes of antibiotics. But truthfully, we haven't really had a new antibiotic for 20 years in terms of a class, a whole class of antibiotics. That's a third of the time we've had antibiotics. There's been nothing really new.